Hey, what's up everyone? MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions and today I have another request to fulfill for you. Um, I got a request on how to make images clickable, meaning how to map images. Now some of you might know on my uh, channel on YouTube, my banner, you can click on three of the words and it'll take you places. So click on blog, email, and Twitter. It'll take you to my blog, to my, or my email, and then my Twitter. And uh, they want to know, or this person wants to know how to do that. And you know, it's really simple and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that right now. All right, basically what you have to do is you have to go to this website called imagemaps.com. And this is the free online image mapping tool and it's probably the simplest tool you can use to map your images. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on choose file and then you have to find a file that you wanna map. I'm gonna just map this uh, old banner that I made. All right, you can start mapping your image. It's gonna upload it, and here you have it. So this is the banner that I made in Photoshop a while back. Uh, pretty decent, pretty small. And then I'm gonna click on continue to next step. Here is where you will see your banner on the left or your image on the left side. And you have a bunch of tools on the right. <clears throat> Basically, it does tell you all the steps that you need to take to map your image, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but essentially what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click on rectangle and then a rectangle is gonna come up on your image and you're gonna resize it, you're gonna place it where you need to place it. So for blogger, if I wanna make people click on the B word or the B letter and go to my blog, all you have to do is resize that rectangle for the B, uh, for the image right there. And then essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the blog or the website link Here's my blog, macropro.blogspot.com, and then paste it in here. That's it. You just click save and you're done. Now move on to the next one. <clears throat> this is the mail, and what you're gonna do is again you're gonna resize it. And if you if it's like a triangle or some other shape in our square, you can also click on custom custom shape after you've done this. So if you're gonna find uh, that link to my image, uh, like I have over here. Show you one sec. Right here. All right, and then paste it here again. Now, some people actually want to be able to click on the email icon and then the mail account or the mail application over here pop up and have the email already set in there. Um, I wasn't able to do that because I have a Gmail account. However, if you do have like a Hotmail or Live account or some other account that does support that, you can do that and I'll put some more information how to do that in the description uh, which you can see after this video. All right, so I'm gonna say that there and now here this Twitter icon is the small circle so you can cl click on custom shape and you can just draw it out just like that. And there you have it. Again, you can change the link to that. I'm gonna type in my Twitter my history and then Twitter. Where do you see Twitter, guys? Do you see Twitter? Anywhere, Twitter. No, you don't. Type twitter.com right here. Copy that link and paste it in here and just click save and you're done. Then you just go to um, get your code and then click on HTML code and this is the code that you have to paste in your banner or where we need to paste it in your HTML website. That's basically it, and it'll work when you click on it. So again, I'll go to my channel, and <clears throat> it'll be clickable. That's it. All right, guys, again, the link to imagemaps.com is in the description. Some more information on how to do the mail application uh, is also in the description. That's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on this video and channel. And guys, to the right, other than those links, you will find my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been MacBoy from MacBoy Productions, and I will see every single one of you right here next time on MacBoy Productions.